Hi, and welcome to today's lesson, Properties of Operations. Today we're gonna to talk about a few different properties. The first one we'll start with is the commutative property. Commute means to move. And we've seen an example of this every time that we go to and from school or work. The commutative property is just talking about numbers that are going to be moving. So in the commutative of addition property, we have a plus b equals b plus a. So if we had two plus three, we know that that's the same thing as those numbers moving around. So instead of two plus three, it would be three plus two. For a commutative property of multiplication, we have a times b equals b times a. Remember, in multiplication, we can use a dot, parentheses, or a variable that is next to another variable or number in order to show multiplication. So I'm going to say 5 times 9, and in this example, I'll move the numbers, and I end up with 9 times 5. So these are the same thing because on both sides, I know that it's going to give me the same answer. So 2 plus 3 is 5, and 3 plus 2 is 5. 5 is the same as 5. So I did not change the value of the number statement. Another example of this would be f times g times h is the same thing as h times f times g. Now let's look at another property, substitution property. To substitute just means that I'm going to be replacing something with something else. So in this example, I have if y equals x plus 1 and x is equal to 4, then y equals well, instead of x here, I'll just what, write what x is, which is 4. So y will equal 4 plus 1, which is 5. Our next property is the multiplicative property of 0. An example would be x times 0 equals 0. This property states that anything times 0 is going to equal 0. So 300 times 0 would equal 0. Our next two properties are going to be identity and inverse for addition. There is a relationship between identity property and inverse property, and we'll need to know these in order to justify solving equations. Here for our identity of addition, we have x plus 0 equals x. We know that the identity property of addition means a number plus 0 will equal itself. So my example here could be 12 plus 0 and I know that's going to equal 12 because it's going to give you back what you started with. That's true if it was 0 plus 12 equals 12 because I added 0. For the inverse of addition, instead of it going to be adding by 0, it's going to actually equal 0. So there is a relationship here. So for identity, I'm adding 0. And for inverse, it equals 0. So a number plus its opposite equals zero. Notice that I have two different signed numbers here. In this case, I have two different signed variables. This one's positive and this one's negative. So an example might be six plus negative six equals zero. The last two properties that I'm going to talk about today are the identity and inverse of multiplication. Just like with addition, the identity and inverse of multiplication have a relationship as well. So anything times 1 is going to equal itself, or in this case, x times 1 equals x. I know that a number times 1 equals itself. Remember, this can be 1 times a number equals the number as well. Because commutative property says it does not matter the order in which we multiply. So our example here would be 5 times 1 equals 5, or 1 times 5 equals 5. For the inverse of multiplication, I have x times 1 over x equals 1. Notice that this one I'm multiplying by 1, and this one equals 1, just like with the example with addition. So the inverse property of multiplication says a number times its reciprocal equals 1. This is the reciprocal of x. Let's review that term real quick. Remember that in a reciprocal, the numerators and denominators are going to switch. 
If you have a whole number, like 2, then you're going to be writing it the same as 2 over 1. And then those numerator and denominator will switch. So the reciprocal of 2 is really going to be 1 half. Let's try an example of this one. 3 times its reciprocal will equal 1. 3 is really 3 over 1, and when they switch places, it's 1 third. Let's recap. For our definition for properties, commutative of addition says numbers can be added in any order without changing the sum. Commutative of multiplication says numbers can be multiplied in any order without changing the product. Our substitution property says if a equals b, then b can be used in place of a. Our multiplicative property of 0 says anything times 0 equals 0, and this property has no inverse. For our identity and inverse properties, we have identity of addition. You're always going to add 0, and the inverses, you'll always equal 0. For identity of multiplication, you'll always multiply by 1, and for the inverse, you'll always equal 1. That wraps up our lesson. Thanks so much for tuning in. Feel free to click the subscribe for this and other lessons. Until next time!